Welcome guys to a new 5 minutes aviation explanation video. Today, as you probably already saw in the title, I will talk about how to pass the compass test or how did I pass the compass test at my academy. So, uh, just some tips to get a step closer to your dream or to achieve your dreams to become a commercial pilot. So how to prepare for the compass test? First of all, get to know your academy or your airline. In the internet there are a lot of articles published by different pages like Wikipedia that you can just check it out and check first of all where is the academy, what are they doing and so on. If you're applying for the airline you have even more information because then you can find out how many people are working for this specific airline, where are their bases or how many or which aircraft they are flying. So first of all it's very important that you know the company where you're going to apply. Second of all is collect some reviews or speak with other students because the reviews from the other students are very important. From my personal side I contacted first a girl who are studying in the academy and she explained me how to pass the interviews. What should I expect from the interview? What's the compass test and everything like that. I started the same as you guys. I just applied. I didn't know what I have to do. This girl helped me a lot. Third thing is also very important that you have to prepare with some specific software for the interview. But how to prepare for this specific software I explain you on the computer. When I was preparing for the job interview I was using latest pilots jobs. On this page as you see here you see the compass test preparations. So you just have to register easily. It's it's not that much money because after if you pass everything you are going to be a pilot. Then you are going on to interview and preparation and you find a lot of airlines like Air Arabia, Air Baltic, BA Training, British Airways and Brussels. So as you see here you have first the personal XT test then followed by the English test, the compass test and the structural interview. So these are the parts on the BA Training interview for the math test, for the physics test short-term memory and spatial awareness you can use the software very easily and it's everything explained in the software you have as well some multitasking flight controls and tracking tests these exercises are done with the joystick so if you have a joystick at home sit down don't play call of duty practice a bit for your interview. So in the end as well you have the structural interview with an examiner and this software gives you already like possible questions so you can already think about your answers so you will be even more comfortable in your job interview. So of course you have to pay for it it's like the first one month subscription is $39 or $56 for three months I recommend personally I used it so I used this three month subscription but I didn't use it every day so if you are sitting at home and you don't do anything like you are not working or something like that you can easily use the one month subscription it's enough there's a big part or the introduction part where you have to speak English and you have to be confident during speaking. What did I do was um, I recorded my speech. So like here in front of the camera I had like an introduction like who am I and everything like that. So I was just in front of the camera speaking about me and 
that I was just listening to it and corrected maybe some mistakes or I corrected the way how I speak something, my pronunciation and everything like that. So it helps a lot to prepare for the interview or for the question that you can give proper answers. And the last thing what you should do is to book finally your flight ticket to the country or to the city where you will have the interview. After you did all this process and you are prepared and you are very confident and everything is fine, choose the right outfit. Like look at some pictures in the internet how the pilots are dressed. So mostly you know that they are wearing suits and a shirt. So try to choose a suit according to the academy if they have a student's uniform or choose an outfit according to the uniform in the airline. If maybe the pilots are wearing gray suits like Eurowings, so wear a gray suit. So it's also because the first impression is made up in the head in less than five seconds. So the HR manager most probably will think, ah, just let's take this guy and put him directly into the cockpit. And just a mind thing and a very useful tip for you guys to pass the compass test. As well, practice all possible answers. Like on this page, on the latest pilot jobs, you have a lot of possible questions you can get. So before you go or on the flight, just practice some questions to speak fluently, to ask clearly and it's another big step to pass your job interview. Very important is that you don't forget any required documents, like if there is a passport required, take your passport, your visa. Of course if you were flying glider or you, had, you have a PPL, so take your logbook as well, so it's also an advantage for you. Very important as well is that you rest well before the interview because your mind has to be clear, your, your body has to be really rested before and don't drink too much coffee because if you drink too much coffee you will be even more stressed due to higher adrenaline. So don't drink coffee, drink water. The interview itself or the compass test. First of all, you will have the Profile XT test. My only advice for you at this, at this part is just be honest and be yourself. There is no right or wrong. There are questions asking you about how you would react to some possible situations and you just have to be honest. Maybe they ask you about what's your favorite color. So don't lie and say, ah, oh, yeah. It's blue. So just answer blue, don't think about it. Just be honest and be yourself. The compass test, is that what you're studying for the last month or the last two months? So rely on your practice or on your training at home and don't be stressed because you were studying, you were practicing it at home. The English test said it's not that difficult, nobody's perfect in English, I, I'm doing mistakes as well. In the interview it's not a big deal if you do mistakes because still some academies are offering you another English lesson or English lessons to practice a bit more and even you will not have another choice than speak in English in your class. So your English will improve very rapidly during your ground school. During the personal interview my only advice is be yourself, be honest and you will pass. Of course you can be a bit confident as well about yourself but pay attention. If you are too confident it's not the best skill to become a pilot. So guys, I hope you liked that video as well. Make sure to subscribe and see you next Wednesday.